What up, what up? We're here with the Baseball Bat Bros, and today, folks, we have one of the newest bats to BB Core, the true hazardous one-piece hybrid. Not 100% sure what that means, but let's find out. All right, folks, a closer look at the Hazardous from True Temper, their first BB Core bat. They've had a few USSA bats back when they were called True Diamond Science. Some USA bats as well, like the T1 and the T2. But guys, this is their first BB Core, and they're kind of going all out with the tech here. This is called a one-piece hybrid. So we have a composite handle and an alloy barrel. But the big difference is they don't have a connection piece here. So they kind of have some texture on the paint to kind of illustrate it, that this is composite, and it fuses directly into an alloy barrel without any connection piece at all. So the idea is that it's gonna feel a lot like a one-piece alloy but maybe function a bit more like a two-piece hybrid really i can't 100 tell you how it's gonna feel what it's gonna feel more like until we compare it against some bass like that so today we brought out boom the goods one piece and the goods two piece so we'll swing both of these bats and let you know where the hazardous uh kind of falls in between them initially from the way they market it I would assume that the flex is somewhere between these two bats and that the swing weight is somewhere between these two bats. So the only way to find out is to try this out, guys. The true hazardous BB core, even the, the price is exactly in between. We have 400, 350, and 300 here. So let's try out the true hazardous BB core, folks. Let's get it. Pretty good. Oh, yeah. I got that pretty good. There we oh, go. Yeah. Ooh. That feels pretty good, man. Short hop. Dude, that's weird. It actually does feel a little bit like a one piece and a little bit like a two piece. Really? I got that pretty good, but a little deep. One hop. Uh -huh. Come on, ball. Got that pretty good. Ah, oh, one ball. Cool. Come on. No. Let, let's pull it straight in from no there. It ain't too heavy either, man. Whip's pretty good. Oh, off the end. Yeah, it doesn't ring you up too bad off the end. No, it doesn't. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. See, dude, so I, I've definitely got some off the hands and off the end, and it doesn't ring you up kind of like a two-piece, but it doesn't feel super flexible either. Yeah, man, it's lots of barrel. Who knows, man, maybe the goods just wipes the floor with this bat. Maybe the goods just ruins it, but I, I honestly like it so far. I don't mind it at all. Feels a lot like a Cat 9 kind of too. Yeah. That bird. Oh boy. Yeah, that's pretty nah. good. Come on, ball. Oh, beast. Yeah, this feels really good, honestly. Yeah. You're really consistent with it, too. Yeah. Dude, I'm, I'm controlling it pretty well. Yeah, it, it doesn't feel way too heavy. It's not like super, super end loaded like a lot of these new BB cores. So, all right, I'm going to try out both the goods one piece and the goods two piece, and then I'll go back to this and let you know kind of which one it leans more towards. Ooh. Yeah, right off the bat, this is more rigid, man. Really? I squared that and just tons of feedback in the that's, hands. That's weird. Yeah, that, that it's it's weird. It's like it does feel like it's kind of right in between. Come on. Ah, oh, no juice today. All right, the true's looking pretty good so far. Yeah, a lot more feedback in the hands, a tiny bit lighter swinging. That one feels better to hit with the true, honestly. Yeah, that, that'll ring you up a little bit, wow. All right, folks, now the real test. Our number two ranked BB Core of 2021, the Goods Two Piece. So power and sweet spot, if you're looking at the Bat Bro scale, we have this as a 10, like hands down. Very, very good bat. I mean, in the College World Series, it feels like 80% of the guys were swinging this. Dude, 
just barrel for days, dude. Out in front, come on ball. Oh, not quite. So initial reaction compared to the true, a more forgiving barrel hands down and a little bit heavier. It really so far is falling right in between uh, both goods bats. Ooh, come on! On the hands a little bit, that might do it. Oh, man! For sure! Yeah, it's gone. Oh. Oh. All right, now let's go back to the hazardous. Did he? Oh, oh, ball. Freaking wind. Dude, it's right in between. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's like way out here. Oh, that's hot. That came off so hot. Oh, see ya. Oh, that was touched, man. Oh, hammered. Oh. Yeah, man. All right, folks, the true hazardous BB core. So yeah, kind of like I was saying, it's kind of hard to figure out like between that two piece goods and the one piece goods, this is either the most flexible one piece I've ever swung or the stiffest two piece I've ever swung. It really kind of does what they say it does. Just a tiny, tiny bit of flex there. Like that, that seamless, no connection piece, two piece hybrid really just makes it feel a lot more like a one piece, but not completely there. So definitely makes the sweet spot feel pretty good. A pretty cool sound on it. The swing weight isn't too crazy. Definitely a slight end load, but not overwhelming at all. And hits the ball pretty hard. We're really just gonna have to see how exit velo testing does before we officially kind of say how good this bat is. It's definitely gonna be top 20, I think. Uh, top 20 BB quarter of the year. Again, that's really good. There's 50 bats. So top 20 is definitely above average. Maybe top 10 if this can crack 100 mile an hour exit velocity. We'll see if it can compete with the goods there. Bottom of the zone, 91.2. Just flipped it. That's, that's really good. That's what makes this bat so popular. Not necessarily the max exit velo, but the velo you're able to generate on just crappy swings and crappy pitches like that. See, even that's missed towards the hands. 95 flat. <laughs> just wait till I barrel it, boys. That's like a pretty good barrel. 98 flat. Let's go. Oh. 96.9. Saved it. <laughs> that was absolutely dotting it. Hands a little bit. 95.6. Oh, that's going to go a long ways. Oh, I just missed it. I still feel like I haven't even really got a perfect perfect. That was pretty dang good. 97.7. Oh, 97, 5, 397 over the monster, baby. Hands, 99, 1. This bat's stupid. This bat is so stupid. What was it? 99.8. Ah, a point two away, boys. Come on. For, for 10 on the power scale, we pretty much look for 400 feet or 100 miles an hour. The goods just about hit both of that. It was 0.2 short of 100 and three feet short of 400. So initially, I'm thinking this just feels a lot like the Cat 9 One Piece, which is a good thing. You know, good, big barreled, slightly end load, good power hitting bat. Nothing crazy. I think the goods kind of stands apart a little bit, but this is a very good, reliable bat. But let's see if it can pop some high velos here. We're looking for 100 miles an hour. That would win it. Oh my gosh. Oh, 95.1. I thought I got that pretty good. All right. 97.4. Oh. 94.3. Oh man, is the goods just going to bury it or what? Oh, that should go far. 
No, oh, man, only 92.2, but 367 still, good launch angle. Oh, that's just about perfect, perfect. 96.8. It can't get her done with the goods, boys. 92.3, This is a lot like the Cat 9 where most hits feel really good, but not all of them are like really, really high velo. Yeah, this is so much like the Cat 9. Tang it, dude. 96.4, 393. How did that not go faster? That ball was body. Wow, that, I swear there's no distance boost. That's impressive. That's still a bomb. JT hat. Ooh. 98.6. Ah, oh, that's like perfect, perfect. Caught it out in front. Max Brand effort. new baseball. Max effort swing. Max JT hat. I mean, that's max effort, boys. All right, there you have it. The goods is still the power king, the true hazardous though. Very respectable bat, honestly just a ton like the Marucci Cat 9, but I would say overall this feels a bit more like a one piece than a two piece hybrid. But, I mean solid bat, it's gonna get a score just like the Cat 9 itself. All right, folks, so there you have it with the true hazardous. Uh, again, just a ton like the Cat 9. Basically has the feel of a one piece, but it's not gonna wring your hands up quite as much as like, you know, your typical full on cheapo one piece alloys. I'll put a link down below where you guys can check this out. Um, 350 bucks, a little bit expensive, but I mean for a two piece hybrid, it's, it's not that crazy. It's actually kind of on the lower end if you're gonna call this a two piece hybrid. And if you just wanna try it out, I think they offer a pretty gnarly demo plan as well, where you can literally just try this thing for a month and then send it back. But we appreciate you guys hanging out. If the video helped you out, we'd appreciate it if you drop a like, subscribe to the channel. And if you wanna help support the Bat Bros, you can always check out our merch over at baseballbatbros.com, like the shirt I was wearing today. And we will see you all next time. Peace out.